Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to install XAMPP 1.7.7 uh, for Windows. I am using Windows 7, but the same um, process can be used for Windows Vista and Windows XP won't be very different either. Once you've installed the, uh, I mean download the installer, go ahead and run it. Alright, we'll choose our language and we'll just keep on going and this is a good folder we don't really want to put it in a subfolder of our um, user or anything like that because it can cause issues with permissions alright and what we have is the option to um, add it to the start menu yada yada this here tells it to go ahead and run it automatically whenever our computer starts up um, if you'll be using your Apache and MySQL server on a regular basis, this is, uh, I actually recommend doing that. Um, FileZilla, you can, uh, of course you can set these later. I normally don't use the FileZilla server. So go ahead and install it. alright and just like that we're done we'll go ahead and click finish okay and so now it's uh, the Windows firewall is alerting me um, let me see if we wanted to make it uh, allowable to be accessed outside our network, um, we can go ahead and click this. I usually don't use Windows Firewall, so... Alright. Alright, and here's where if you decide later to install it as a service or to not run these as services, you can just uncheck these. Um, we'll go ahead and minimize that. What we want to do is go ahead and open our browser. Alright, and in our dress bar we want to go to localhost. Alright, now we choose our language. And we need to go over here to security. alright the main one that we're worried about here is um, to go ahead and set up a password for the MySQL user tells us to go to this link alright so you need to pick a password now if you're just going to be using this for local development you don't have to pick anything too fancy alright and then we'll just go ahead and click that now, you can choose to protect your XAMPP directory. If you're going to um, allow public access, that's not a bad idea. So we'll go ahead and do a... Uh, don't, don't do this for public. I'm just doing this for, uh, for an example purpose. All right. And so now we can go back to... Uh, Okay, so now we get a enter in our ex exempt user name and password. I can't find my keys. All right, and now you can see it. Uh, it's warning us about a couple of things. That's okay. Um, we're not going to run PHP in safe mode. There is a good reason not to. But I won't go into all that. If you want to uh, know more on that, you you can uh, Google it. Alright, so the last thing is we need to know where our web root folder is. Um, we'll go to our htdocs folder. It'll be where we installed XAMPP. You'll find the directory called htdocs. 
and this is the base directory for um, our website. What we can do is take and if you'll find the index.php file and then we'll just go ahead and delete it. Now when we open our browser it won't forward us automatically to our XAMPP control panel. Instead when we go to localhost it'll show us it works and basically what it's rendering is this file right here and there's a tutorial on how to install XAMPP and get it set up now you're ready to begin uh, setting up your other server software thanks for watching